In this video, we're going to go over the moon's phases. Instructions. Instructions. Base your answers to questions 1 through 10 on the diagram below and your knowledge of Earth science. Before we get started, let's see if we can put each phase of the moon in its proper position. Here's the rays of the sun. Here's the Earth. Here's the illuminated side of the moon. And we imagine looking up at the moon from the Earth. Position number one, we'd see no moon at all. That would be the new moon position. At position number two, we see that the right-hand side is slightly lit up. We would call this the waxing crescent. As we move from here to here, the moon is going to increase in illumination each night as part of its waxing period. At position number three, we'd see half the moon lit up. This is called the first quarter moon. It would look like that. At position number four, we'd see that the moon is getting close to being circular. In appearance, a little bit is missing to the left. Wax and gibbous. At position number five, we have the full moon. At position number six, looking at it from the point of view of the observer, the left-hand side of the moon is more lit up than the right-hand side of the moon. Now the moon is moving through a period in which it decreases in illumination, so this would be called a waning gibbous. In position number seven, from the point of view of the observer, the left-hand side is lit up, the right-hand side is not illuminated. This would be the last quarter. And in position number eight, the left-hand side is slightly illuminated, the phase of the moon would be the waning crescent. Now the number of days it takes to go from new moon to new moon is not the same amount as the number of days it takes to go around one time. In the last lesson we saw, for the moon to go around and orbit one time in a complete circle takes 27.3 days, but it actually takes 29.5 days to go from new moon through the cycles back to new moon. To go around one time, 29.5, days, which generally means that it takes about two weeks to go from new moon to full moon, or about a week to go from new moon to first quarter, another week to go from first quarter to full moon, another week to go from full moon to last quarter, another week, about a month, 29.5 days. Let's take a look at the questions. Which moon phase is visible from the Earth when the moon is located in position three? When the moon is in position three, the moon is in its first quarter phase. Number two, which moon phase is visible from Earth when the moon is located in position eight? In position eight, see the waning crescent. Number three, about how many weeks does it take for the moon to revolve from position one to position seven? So in general, one week to get here, one week to get here, one week to get here gives us a total of three weeks. Number four, in which position of the moon, which number, could a lunar eclipse occur? A lunar eclipse is possible when the sun's rays are blocked out by the Earth, casting a shadow on the moon. That can only happen during a, a full moon phase. Number five, in which position of the moon would a solar eclipse occur? A possible solar eclipse can occur when the sun's rays are blocked out by the moon, casting a shadow on the Earth. This can only happen during the new moon phase. Six, explain why eclipses do not occur every month. Eclipses don't always occur because the moon's orbit is tilted. Number seven, in which two positions of the moon does a spring tide occur? Spring tides occur when the sun and moon's gravitational pull work together, and that's going to happen when the moon and sun line up during a new moon, or when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the earth during a full moon. One and five for the new and full moon. In which two positions of the moon does a neap tide occur? A neap tide occurs when the moon and sun are aligned at a 90 degree angle. This occurs during the first quarter moon and the last quarter moon. Number nine, which type of tide has higher highs and lower lows? Why? We learn that spring tides have higher high tides and lower low tides because the sun and moon's gravitational pull work together. Number 10, what motion of the moon causes us to see phases? Because the moon is going around the earth, we see different portions of the illuminated side facing the earth. It's the moon's revolution that causes phases. 